There are many trees out there that look like they've come straight out of a movie about prehistoric times, trees that are even bigger than airplanes. It sounds crazy, but it's the reality of many species of trees on our planet. Some of them hide some sinister secrets and are even dangerous. There are even rumors that one of them dates back to the time when dinosaurs walked the earth. And today we're going to take a look at the most incredible tree species on the planet. But before we start this list, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any spectacular Be Curious videos. All set? Then let's get adventurous! We'll start our list with the European yew, which is a tree with a rich and interesting history. It is native to various parts of Europe, Asia Minor, and parts of North Africa. It is one of the few conifers native to Europe and is known for its extraordinary longevity. Some trees can live for several thousand years, making them one of the oldest known species. Despite its longevity, the European yew is slow growing. The trees can take many decades to reach their maximum height. It's kind of funny to think about it, but I have a question for you. Have you ever noticed that in nature, everything that grows quickly usually has a very short life cycle? An example of this is the fly, which in a few days can make a gigantic change from larva to adult fly in one or two days, but on the other hand, a fly has a very short lifespan, lasting no more than a month, very different from a turtle, which grows very slowly but lives for an average of 100 years, quite a thought, isn't it? So in nature, everything that takes time to grow and reach adulthood, so to speak, generally lives longer than things that grow quickly. Returning to the European yew, it has flat, needle-shaped leaves that are toxic to many animals but not to deer and goats, which can feed on them without being affected. Despite its toxicity to many animals, yew has compounds such as taxine that are highly poisonous to humans and domestic animals. All parts of the plant except the pulp of the red arrow are considered toxic. So be very careful with this tree. Mancenilaria is a highly toxic and dangerous tree found in tropical coastal areas of the Americas. It is native to tropical coastal regions of the Caribbean, Central America, and South America. All parts of the Mancenillo tree are extremely toxic. The sap of the tree contains a mixture of toxins, including forbal, which can cause severe burns to the skin, so just touching it would be a big problem. The Mancinillo tree has a very dark peculiarity, it is known as the tree of death due to its extreme toxicity. Being under its shade during the rain can cause skin burns due to the sap that is washed off by the leaves, so just being near it is already dangerous, who would have thought that the shade of a tree could cause problems, right? Thanks to its toxicity, some local cultures have historically used Mancinilhira extracts to poison arrows and spears. Its fruits resemble small green apples and can be mistaken for edible fruit. However, ingesting even a small amount can be fatal, it's that saying, if you don't know a tree or have doubts, don't eat its fruit. But it doesn't just have bad characteristics, due to its resistance to wind and its dense foliage, the Mancinillo tree is occasionally planted in coastal areas to serve as a natural barrier against storms and strong winds. On the other hand, it has several defense techniques. The smoke generated by burning Mancinillo would can cause respiratory irritation, making it even more dangerous and because of the danger it poses. Areas where Mancinillo grows are usually signposted and trees are removed in public areas to avoid accidents. Another extremely dangerous one on our list is the Gimpy Gimpy, which is an extremely dangerous plant known for its foliage covered in stinging hairs. It is native to the rainforests of eastern Australia, including regions such as Queensland and New South Wales. Gimpy is also harmless in appearance, with green, rounded leaves, but it is one of the most dangerous plants in the world due to the presence of stinging hairs. The plant has microscopic hairs that contain toxins. When the skin comes into contact with these hairs, an intense urticant reaction can occur, causing extreme pain that can last for weeks or even months. Imagine spending months scratching yourself because of a tree, how sad you go to see nature and come back full of itches. Not to mention that the pain caused by contact with the Gimpy Gimpy is so intense that there have been reports of people trying what I can't mention here due to the persistent agony caused by the stinging itch. As if that weren't enough, inhaling the Gimpy Gimpy stinging hairs can cause respiratory problems, making contact with this plant even more dangerous, even breathing next to it is dangerous. Due to its toxicity, the Gimpy Gimpy has few natural predators. 
the plant relies more on its ability to itch to protect itself against herbivores. Australia's indigenous communities have been aware of Gimpy Gimpy's dangerousness for a long time. They carefully avoid contact with this plant. This tree is a problem because the toxins present in its stinging hairs have not yet been fully identified. Fully understanding these toxins is a challenge due to the plant's chemical complexity. The wasaku, scientifically known as Hura crepitans, is a fascinating species with unique characteristics. The tree is native to the tropical forests of Central and South America, including regions such as the Amazon. This tree can reach impressive heights, usually ranging between 20 and 30 meters, and the width of its crown can be significant, covering a considerable area. A striking feature of this species is the presence of sharp thorns on its trunk and branches. These thorns, similar to needles, are a defense against herbivores, putting your hand there wouldn't be very nice, it could end up full of holes, so it's best to keep your distance. Another intriguing feature of Hura crepitans is the way its fruits disperse. They're known for being explosive, that's what you heard. When ripe, the tree's nuts open violently releasing seeds in all directions. This process is known as dispersive dehiscence, spreading its seeds as far and wide as possible. The tree is also called by various common names such as devil's tree, explosive tree, or sandbox tree due to its peculiarity of releasing seeds as if they were exploding from a sandbox. Despite its impressive size, the wood of the Hura crepitans is light and generally considered useless for most purposes. This is due to its porous structure and low density. Although the wood is unsuitable for many purposes, some local communities may use parts of the tree for traditional or medicinal purposes. In some regions, extracts from the tree have historically been used to treat conditions such as rheumatism and inflammation, but beware, direct contact with the seeds can result in allergic reactions in some people. I put this one on the list because I think it's so beautiful. Baobab trees, belonging to the genus Adansonia, are notable for their distinctive appearance and their significant role in various African cultures and other tropical regions. These trees are found in tropical regions of Africa, Madagascar, Australia, and other areas with warm climates. Baobab trees are known for their peculiar appearance with sturdy trunks and branches that resemble roots. The tree's characteristic shape is often described as if it were upside down, they're even quite funny if you look closely. Baobabs may not reach great heights like the sequoia, but their trunk width is remarkable with diameters that can also vary from 5 to 10 meters. The sacred baobab tree in Madagascar is considered to be the largest of its kind. This tree known as Grandadier's Baobab had a trunk about 34 meters in circumference before it collapsed in 2019. It was one of the most beautiful trees in the world, giving it that very prehistoric look, it looked like it had come out of a Jurassic World style movie. Baobabs are also known for their longevity, some trees can live for thousands of years. The exact age of a baobab tree is difficult to determine due to the absence of annual rings on the trunks, so it is impossible for scientists to base their age on this. Baobabs have many practical uses for local communities. Its fibers can be used to make ropes and textiles and the leaves and fruits are eaten as food and are rich in nutrients. In addition, the trunk occasionally serves as temporary shelter or water storage during periods of drought. The banyan tree is native to the coastal regions of eastern Australia, including Queensland and New South Wales. It is also cultivated in various other tropical and subtropical regions around the world. Unlike the wasaku, the fig tree has edible fruit, which, while dangerous, is often beneficial to humans. The banyan tree is known for its distinctive aerial roots that extend downwards from the branches and can eventually touch the ground, forming a unique support structure. There is no specific record of the largest banyan tree, but many trees of this species reach remarkable dimensions with trunk widths that can take up extensive areas. Because of its beauty, its imposing size, and the generous shade it offers, the banyan tree is often planted in urban areas and landscaped spaces to provide beauty and soothe the heat. Not to mention that most species of the ficus genus, the banyan tree produces figs that are edible. Although figs from this tree are not usually eaten by humans, they are an important source of food for birds and other fauna. 
The only real problem with this tree is its roots, which like many fig trees, Ficus macrophylla can produce strangling roots that wrap around other trees in its environment. This behavior can have an impact on the surrounding vegetation and, of course, can pose problems even in civilized environments as its roots can get under buildings and do real damage, so never plant a fig tree too close to your house. The seed dispersal of the banyan tree often occurs through the droppings of birds that consume the figs. This helps the tree spread to new areas. These beautiful trees have a long lifespan and can live for several decades. Some trees can even survive for centuries. Pinus ponderosa, also known as mountain pine, is a species of pine found in the mountainous regions of North America. These pines are known for reaching impressive heights. They can grow between 24 and 60 meters. The largest recorded Pinus ponderosa, known as the centennial tree, was measured at around 82 meters tall and was found in the Siskiyou National Forest in Oregon. One interesting thing is the bark of the Pinus ponderosa, it is distinctive with thick, deep plates that stand out. It plays an important role in protecting against forest fires. Pinus ponderosa wood is prized for its versatility. It is often used in the construction industry for the production of furniture, paper, and other wood products and is known for being resistant and durable, making it a common choice for a variety of wood products. This tree also plays a vital role in many forest ecosystems as well as providing habitat for various species, contributing to nutrient cycling and ecological balance, it is often managed by silvicultural practices to ensure the sustainability of the forest resource. Pinus is an ancient tree, as under ideal conditions, some trees of the species can exceed 500 years of age. As well as providing habitat for a variety of birds and animals, ponderosa pines also offer food in the form of seeds and shoots, their root system adapted to absorb water and nutrients in generally poor soils. This contributes to its ability to grow in different types of environments. Also impacting on its color, which can vary from shades of yellow to red and brown, this diversity of colors contributes greatly to its popularity in the timber industry. The last one on this list isn't a dangerous tree, but it deserves a mention in this video for its incredible beauty. The giant sequoia is an imposing and fascinating tree. Giant sequoias are native to the Sierra Nevada region of California and are popularly known for being some of the tallest trees in the world, reaching impressive heights of over 90 meters, even larger than the world's largest plane, which has a wingspan of 88.4 meters. In terms of width, the diameter of giant sequoias can exceed 7 meters and there have been cases of the largest sequoia tree on record having a width of over 25 meters. The tallest tree ever recorded is the Hyperion, which measures approximately 115.7 meters and was discovered in 2006 in the Redwood National Park in California. These trees are known for their incredible longevity. Some giant sequoias are over 3,000 years old, making them some of the oldest trees on planet Earth. An interesting feature of giant sequoias is that they have a thick bark that protects them against forest fires. Their bark is resistant to fire due to its high content of tannin, a chemical substance that slows down combustion. Despite the tree's colossal size, the seeds of giant sequoias are surprisingly small, measuring just a few millimeters. Giant sequoias are mainly preserved in national parks and nature reserves. They are a popular tourist attraction due to their size and beauty. Historically, these trees were cleared for timber but are now largely protected due to their ecological and cultural value. What's more, despite reaching extraordinary heights, giant sequoias are extremely slow-growing in the first few years of their lives. This makes them especially vulnerable during the initial phase, but once mature, their growth rate increases, not to mention the fact that they are practically indestructible. These giants of nature often grow in close groups, forming families of trees. This closeness can provide benefits such as mutual shade and protection from strong winds. And once again it's time to say goodbye, but tell me which of these trees would you not want to find on your path? Without a doubt, I would never want to come across a gimpy gimpy on my path, especially since I have a habit of putting my hand on every plant I see. But as I always say, if you've got this far and enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new videos, and of course, hit the like button so I know if you like this video. Until the next great adventure!